Okay, so here I have what is effectively my walking kit or my very lightweight kit. It's the minimum that I need to go out on an assignment. Um, and I want to just quickly go through the kit. There's not much to show you actually. So first I have this monopod, um, which will go up if I have to, up to eye level. Um, and I can flip my camera. Now you can see I've got the same system that I'm using here. I've got the Zacuto here, my little viewfinder in the side and I have the camera on the back. So that will flip up and drop onto my walking stick and then I can get it to the right level and I can take out my Zacuto, knock that onto the back and, and then very quickly. Now I've got here a, very, a variable lens which I like to use um, when I'm going lightweight. It's not fantastic as a lens. It's uh, an 18 to 250 so it's got immense, immense range but through there I can very quickly um, managed to cover most things. Now, I would never use this um, if I'm doing an assignment where I really need to get things right and it looks to look perfect. But for online video, it's quite often quite adequate enough for the kind of size that the video is going to go on. And I like it if I'm going to go out on a long day and I'm not sure if I want to shoot or I don't want to shoot. And I might come across something. So this would be a kit that I would carry with me um, just on a normal day, really, if I, if I don't have a particular assignment. Other things that will come with this, let me just drop this off a second. So that just drops into my pouch on the side and this comes and drops into my sling harness. The other great thing that I didn't mention in the last video about the sling harness is that um, it's very secure. So if you're ever in a country, and this is a big problem in Asia, where people snatch things, if they go past on a motorbike and snatch your camera, they cannot get it off you if it's secured like this. It, it's rock solid, it's great. Uh, so on the bottom of this tripod, I've got these little legs, so I can flip those up and it's going to give me just a little bit more stability. Now technically, I can drop that down, I can put my camera on it and I could wait for it to stop shaking around and if I'm very careful, I should be able to, I'm not quite on, on steady ground here, but I should be able to get it so it stays up without my hands doing anything. Uh, and, and that I could do if I'm doing an interview, for example, that's the way I would do it and hopefully there's not too much wind and there is some wind today and you can still see I can get a steady shot. But you have to be very careful because it only needs one little touch and it's gone and it, and it goes over. And the reason behind that is that on the floor here, the, the leg stays stable but it's designed to move around and so it's very quickly to shake and you can do it between the two things here where you can go up and down this way and forward and back this way. Um, it's a very flexible tripod, or, or monopod should I say. I just flick that off. I didn't say previously that my other tripod over here has a leg. Let me just put that down and take this off here. So this is a lightweight camera as well with a, very, a long variable lens but not good in low light. Oops, sorry, flick that on. So over here I do have a leg that will unscrew. So on this tripod I can have the choice of going to a monopod if I want. I just have to take the head off and put it on. Quite useful if I'm in a, in like a very busy situation. But to be honest, most of the time if I, want, if I have to shoot with a monopod and I'm using this tripod, the easiest thing to do is just to put the legs together like this and use it as a monopod like that. Uh, it's, it's actually steadier than just taking the one leg off, but I do have the option should I wish to do that. Let's put that to the side there and go back to this. So the only other thing that I have here in my pocket is I will carry a microphone with a lead. Now the way that I get around not having to have a radio mic is simply to have a long lead. And a long lead will give me flexibility. And if I use Magic Lantern, which is a free software, onto my camera, onto the camera disc, it's going to allow me to see the manual levels, I can set manual, um, the, uh, the sound as manual um, and I can also do time lapses and all sorts of other things. So this very long lead allows me to set up an interview by plugging this in, miking up my subject and doing uh, an interview there and then. And I have done whole stories when I've had to do an ex a lot of walking or I was just trying to keep as lightweight as possible um, just using this kit. 
uh, without anything else. As I said, it's my mo most mobile kit. As I said, it just goes in my pocket and this then acts. I put this down, snap these legs up and I can go out for the day just for fun or on a job as a walking stick. And I can walk around quite happily uh, with this stuff all day without really feeling uh, it getting in my way. So it, it's a kit that allows me to shoot on the most minimal spec with a microphone in my pocket, a zakuta on the side, a camera around my shoulder and a walking stick. And that's my mobile kit.